I'm Ashley Harris. I'm a recruiter within the Division of Global Hiring and Outreach. Um, I've been with CMS for a little over a year now. Um, I'm responsible for um, entering candidates into our non-competitive resume database, as well as monitoring and assisting individuals um, who contact our recruitment email box. Uh, some of you may be familiar already with the email box um, that I'm referring to. However, if you're not, we will get into what that email box is for, as well as all, of, um, all about the various non-competitive hiring authorities today. So on our agenda, we have first all about the non-competitive hiring authorities, the specific hiring authorities, and then finally we'll get into how to apply non-competitively. Okay, so the benefit of having a non-competitive hiring authority is that it allows eligible candidates to one, be able to be entered into our non-competitive resume database, um, as well as apply to announcements on usajobs.gov non-competitively. So as far as the resume database is concerned, once you're entered, a manager then has the opportunity to be able to search for viable candidates to fill any vacant positions. However, a few key points to note here is that there is no defined time frame that you will be contact when you will be contacted by the manager and there's not a guarantee if you will be contacted by a manager itself um, however once you're entered into the database your profile is active for one year so at that one year mark if you have not been selected yet um, you will then be contacted by someone on our team to ensure that you are still I mean that you do still have continued interest in being considered for any CMS positions that we have coming available. Um, as far as applying to the announcements on USA Jobs non competitively, uh, we will definitely get into that a little bit more um, further in the presentation here. But as you can see with the asterisks, we highly recommend that candidates use their application package to be considered for both. So you can be entered into the database as well as applying to a position of your interest on usajobs.gov and be considered non-competitively. Whereas you can see the competitive hiring process is a little different because, excuse me, eligible candidates have to apply to usajobs. announcement on usajobs.gov and they're rated and ranked um, against other applicants. So that's the biggest difference right there between um, being able to apply non-competitively versus a competitive position. So now we're gonna to touch um, on the specific hiring authorities that we recognize. So to start, um, we have Schedule A. So Schedule A um, is for eligible candidates that have an intellectual, severe physical or psychiatric disability. And as you can see here, there is no grade level limitation as far as being um, able to apply to the, diff the various GS levels um, within the federal government. And then we have our 30% or more disabled veteran appointment, which is for disabled veterans who were retired from active military service with a service connected disability rating of 30% or more and disabled veterans that have a rating by the Department of Veteran Affairs showing a compensable service-connected disability of 30% or more, as well as there's no grade level limitation for 30% or more um, hiring authority. And as you can see here, we also have our Return Peace Corps volunteers, also known as the RPCV and the AmeriCorps VISTA volunteers. And the RPCVs and AmeriCorps VISTA volunteers, after meeting certain requirements, um, they will have non-competitive eligibility for federal jobs, to be considered for federal jobs. Um, the appointment must be made, however, within one year after that um, volunteer completes their qualifying service. So next we have our Veterans Recruitment Appointment, also known as VRA. Um, the eligible veterans 
may be appointed without competition up to the GS 11 level. So this is a little different than the other hiring authorities I previously mentioned that didn't have a um, limitation for the GS level. Um, this one does. It, um, you can only apply non-competitively up to the GS 11 level. And those that would be considered eligible are one, a disabled veteran or veterans who served on active duty in the armed forces during a war or in a campaign or expedition for which a campaign badge has been authorized or veterans who while serving on active duty in the armed forces participated in a United States military operation for which an armed, service, armed forces service medal was awarded. And then lastly, we do have veterans separated from active duty within the last three years. All right, so now we're gonna get into, so I mentioned before the application package, what does that consist of? So with the hiring authorities we have listed on the left here, we have the required documents that will be needed to complete your application package to the right. So for Schedule A hiring authority, and as you can see, all of these hiring authorities, obviously the resume will be included as well. But with the Schedule A, you'll need your resume as well as a Schedule A letter signed by um, a physician or professional. And you, for the 30% or more disabled veteran appointment, you will need your resume as well as a VA letter and DD-214. I know it might be a little hard to see here with the way the um, slides are, but it's the VA letter and DD-214 form will be needed. However, for the veteran um, recruitment appointment, the VRA, you'll need your resume and your DD-214. And for the, just an FYI for the veterans or just if you do have multiple hiring authorities, you can definitely feel free to send in all of your documentation. So if you are applying for VRA and you do have a Schedule A, that's fine. We can definitely check you off for both. You don't have to, you don't have to just send in one. So if you do have Schedule A as well as VRA, we can definitely um, accept your documentation and have it uploaded that way. And then last we, lastly, we have um, RPCV, which is our Return Peace Corps Volunteers and the AmeriCorps VISTA what we need from you all would be the resume as well as the certificate of volunteer service. And that date that it was signed should hopefully be no more than a year of when you're submitting your application package. Because as we said previously, if it does exceed a year of you completing your service, we will not be able to accept that documentation. All right, so now to get into the the main part of this is how to apply non-competitively. So as I've mentioned previously, as far as um, to be included, if you wanna be included in the non-competitive resume database, you will then need to email your resume and required documents to cmsrecruitment at cms.hhs.gov. So this, this is the email box I was referring to earlier in the presentation that we will receive inquiries as far as trying to be included into the database and then we'll proceed to enter those individuals with the um, required documentation that they have provided. And then we have also, um, as I mentioned before, if you do find a position of interest um, on usajobs.gov, you may request to be considered non-competitively by, on the actual announcement, you'll see at the very, pretty much close to the bottom of the um, page, you'll see contact information. And where has that agency contact information? That will be listed, the HR specialist that's assigned to that announcement. So you will email them your application package with making sure that the subject line includes the vacancy number. And that's an example right there of what a traditional um, vacancy number would look like. And it'll actually be towards the top of the announcement towards the right um, under the apply button. You'll see the vacancy and number that you can literally just paste in there in the subject line. And then you wanna make sure that the body of the email actually includes language requesting, requesting the appropriate hiring authority consideration. Um, so just saying that you would like to be considered for Schedule A or so on and so on to that um, HR specialist of the announcement that you're applying for.
So that was the bulk of this presentation today um, and going in depth about our non-competitive hiring authorities.